Subcontract worker strike at Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering has finally come to a close. One of the world's largest shipbuilders earlier estimated that it suffered more than 600 million U.S. dollars in losses due to the demonstration. Han Zhongwu has the full story. Finally solved after 51 days. Some 450 kilometers southeast of Seoul at Kojedo Island's Okpo shipyard on Friday, labor union representatives announced they had tentatively agreed with management to end the near two-month-long strike that's been gripping the country. We weren't able to achieve our initial wage hike goal, but I think it's meaningful in that we've shown society the tough reality that subcontract workers face. A group of unionized workers from subcontractors of Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering had been occupying an oil tanker under construction at the main dock. Around 150 workers had been on strike since the start of June, with seven of them holding the oil tanker sit-in since June 22nd, demanding a wage hike and better working conditions. Among them, a man in poor health who had trapped himself in a makeshift cage in protest. Despite their victory, the South Korean government has warned the strikers do await legal repercussions. The government will respond to the strikers' illegal occupation in accordance with the law and principles. Friday's negotiations, however, did lead to a wage hike of 4.5 percent, payment of special allowances, and the unspecified partial employment of displaced workers. And at the last minute, too, considering Saturday's the start of a long two-week holiday for the global shipbuilder, meaning the parties involved were under pressure to reach a deal before the weekend. But representatives say a damage suit against the strikers, which in particular prolonged the already drawn-out affair until Friday, hasn't been completely addressed yet leaving room for further negotiations ahead. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News, Kojedo Island.